Okay, we're going to go ahead and show you all how to install SOLIDWORKS for students here at NMSU in the Engineering College. So the first thing we need to do is open up a web browser. And we are going to go to the following website. Uh, we will give a copy in the written instructions on what that website is exactly um, up here so you don't have to memorize it from this video. Uh, we need to fill out this information here. with your own information, don't use mine necessarily. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit yes, we have a serial number because we'll, you'll be given one. And we're gonna say 2020, 2021 academic version, request to download, accept it, and download. We'll wait till that finishes downloading. We're gonna open the file. Uh, this doesn't necessarily matter where it is. Usually dumps in downloads by default, which is just fine. Um, it actually dumps it wherever you just downloaded that file. So it doesn't really matter where it is necessarily. We're gonna hit unzip. And once it's all unzipped, it is gonna automatically run. This window here will pop up. We want to install on this computer. Hit next. Now, this sometimes pre-populates, especially if you've ever had this installed on your machine before, and I have. Um, I'm gonna urge you to erase whatever is here and put in the new serial number, even if it is the same. In this case, it actually is going to be the same. Um, and we'll give you this serial number in the written instructions as well. So we're going to cut and paste that right in there. Um, if you have anything entered for anything below here, that probably also means you've had it previously installed. Remove everything. The only thing you want numbers in is this SOLIDWORKS. Otherwise, you're going to have issues down the road. All right, we're going to hit Next. And you do need to be hooked to the internet while you install this. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the default things that are installed. And I'll tell you why. The one thing we wanna remove is the electrical. You're not gonna use it for your courses and it's gonna cause an installation problem if we leave it. So we wanna go ahead and remove that electrical. Go back to summary. I'm gonna leave the rest of this down uh, default and most of you probably will. Um, but if you have a setup where you have a secondary hard drive or something like that, that, this is where you can change the installation location if you'd like to. Default is going to be your C program file, SOLIDWORKS Corp. That is fine for me. That is fine for most people. And we're going to hit download and install. I am going to pause the recording right now because this is going to take, last time I did this on my machine with a, probably about a 200 meg megabit connection to the internet. And this machine is an i7 with 16 megabits of RAM, mega, sorry, gigabytes of RAM. It took about 20 minutes to install. So I'm gonna pause this recording and we're gonna pick up when it finishes, finishes installing. Okay, now that's done installing, you're gonna get this screen. I'm gonna go ahead and, and check that. But if you wanna see what's new, go for it. I'm gonna say no thank you to that. Hit finish. And we're installed. The only thing left to do is to open it up. It's going to verify that license. I'm just, just gonna say I want to activate my SOLIDWORKS product now. We have to be connected to the internet to do this. Hit next, just hit select all automatically. Hit next.
All right, we can see that everything here is licensed. We'll hit finish. And it's going to continue to open the program. And this is going to take a bit of time, pretty much regardless of your system. This is a big program. It does take a bit to, to open. All right, we can accept that. Okay, it's gonna open up and we're done. That's SolidWorks installed. We're gonna have another video on where to put the Weldman profiles and the templates that you may need for your course. Um, if you don't need them, you don't need them, but if your instructor asks, asks for them, you can check out that video. Uh, please do me a favor and look at the uninstall video that we're gonna put up too. Uh, how we activate the license there, when you're ready to uninstall it, we would really appreciate if you deactivated the license. Um, somebody else can install if they need to, and I'll just have something to uh, show you guys kind of that stuff. All right.